this interrogation is being recorded. Please state your name to the microphone. John Anderson. Thank you. Do you know why you're here? No? Well, let me remind you. On the evening of September 9th, you broke into the household of Brian J. Keenan and murdered him in his sleep. Then, on the following morning, you murdered Shane Lee, a contractor hired by Mr. Keenan, one week prior. Ringing any bells, Mr. Anderson? Moving along, then. During initial questioning, you stated that your motive for the murder was your passionate hatred for Mr. Keenan's eye. Can you verify that? Yes. For his eye? Are you mad? No, I am not mad. To call me mad would be to infer that I am in an unstable state of being. To be calling me mad would be calling me insane, and I assure you, detective, I am not insane. I'm just a little nervous. Nervous? Yes, nervous. Do you want to tell me what the difference between a nervous man is and a madman? A madman doesn't think. A madman makes mistakes. A nervous man pays attention. He's just very careful. I paid attention to every subtle detail. I didn't just bust in there and kill a man. I adapted to every detail. I spent one full week carefully planning the whole ordeal. I hid outside of Brian's bushes. Brian came home. I knew I was gonna was gonna wait to see where, if he would reveal where the hiding spot is, right for his keys, right under the mat, right under. The You are insane. Impossible! Impossible. An insane man would have killed him right there. You understand? A insane man would be able to take being stared down day after day until the time was right. So you waited? Yes. I grabbed the key and crept into the house, night after night. It became routine. I planned it so diligently. I had to be brutally disciplined with my movements. The old house seemed to squeak at the lightest movement. It took me hours just to make it up the stairs. Every time I walked through that hallway, my heart started to pound, knowing that the evil eye was just on the other side of that door. So why wait? Why not kill him on the first night? Because he slept with his eyes closed. What? I knew his eye was there, and believe me, that enraged me. But in order to drive me to murder, I would need that eye to stare me square down. So you went back every night for seven nights, and each night you were just a shard away from murder, and you backed out? So what happened on the eighth night? The eighth night I felt like all the others. I didn't think it was the right night, but, but as I was leaving, I saw something, I felt something, my heart was pounding. Next thing I knew I was washing the blood off my hands. 
happened all right. Yeah. Went perfectly too, didn't it? All your planning paid off until that repairman showed up. Oh yes, of course. I'm trying to make small talk, but I couldn't follow any of it. Don't understand. Why didn't you let him just fix the window and leave? Because I could hear Brian's heart thumping under the 